And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We used to rap like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know what it is. Salute to y'all. You know what I mean? Get right back to it. Getting back into the into the feel of things. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna um, keep this thing moving. But uh so everybody wants to know, you know what I'm saying? We had uh, a lot of people was talking about the whole situation with New Jersey Twerk and Norbs and et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, Twerk comes out, he speaks about the situation, and I think that it's the right thing to do to give the fan base his response. If you give him what happened, give him the response. If Norbs happens to speak on the situation, you put his out and then you let it rest. But, um, you know what I'm saying? He did speak on why it happened, and um, I will let you guys see the video. I'm not going to talk that much, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to let y'all see it, and then you could judge it for yourself. Um, he said that, you know, these guys had a relationship. He knew Norbs, and then he explained the situation as to why he jumped on him. Um, I think the only thing that most people are really, really on is as far as why was it on camera and why was it put out, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the biggest thing that people are harping on, because most people is like, when you see the footage, you know what I'm saying, you can determine yourself how you feel about it. Um, if what he's saying is true, although, like I said, I don't agree to where it happened at as far as with all the money, billboards, big sponsors and shit like that. But as far as with when it comes down to the nitty gritty, but what happened with your kid's mom, with somebody that you trusted and somebody that, you know what I'm saying, knew your kids and stuff, it's a sticky situation. I know people's like, oh, I've seen people say a, a baby mom's is nothing but a glorified girlfriend or ex ex girl, whatever the case may be. But it's just one of them things when you know both people and you've seen both people before to see something like that go down. Um, it was what it was. You know what I'm saying? Twerk apologized to URL. He said it was going to be disciplinary action taken against him. He apologized to the fans because obviously it had like a domino effect. Him having a battle with Geechee Gotti under all of that pressure and everything that happened basically kept him from being on his A-game. I mean, I don't even think he was really prepared anyway, but A-game wasn't there. This situation happened. Smack and Beasley's in a bad position. Norbs is putting them all in a bad position by his decisions or whatever he chose to do if allegedly. I heard, I heard. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? You guys check the footage out. Y'all can make your own determination. Like I said, this is just a continuation off of the first video about the situation. And if Norbs chooses to respond, we'll speak about that. And then that'll be the end of it. But you know what I'm saying? Other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Y'all stay blessed out there. Gang, gang, gang. Yeah. Definitely gotta put on some sneakers or something in this run. Shit, dang, right there. About to be the biggest bama all time. We'll talk about this Norb shit, man. I don't have no sneakers. Bruh, I sent my sneakers with XP. Body on that cage. Shut the fuck up, dude. It's raining. I don't have no sneakers. Hold on, I man, I got y'all, hold on, hold on. And the other pig was an XP bag. So, oh, shit. I'm always sick right now. I'ma wait till, I'ma wait till yeah, I mean, a couple more people get in here and shit. Let a few people get in here. We're gonna talk about this norm shit. Are you live right now? Yeah, I'm live right now. I'm gonna record you live. <clears throat> We're gonna talk about this shit, man. Oh, you can eat. You know where that shit came from? We'll talk about this. Crush All right, so he plays a big part in, of my success in, in the URL, which I have to give him that. And when I battled Dougie, me and Norbs, you know, we found a new, we had a new fan relationship. Like, you know what I mean? We started getting closer and closer. I'd have been on double dates with Norbs. I mean, me and his, me, his wife, him, and my baby mom, when we was dating, we done chilled, all types of shit. Like, so, you know, we like, we all had each other's numbers, we stayed in numbers, all types of shit. Like, we was real cool, like, type, you know what I mean? Like, Norbs and spoke to my kids, all, all kind of shit. Like, Norbs is really a friend of mine. Like, I consider him a friend of mine, and he would do the same. I was just with Norbs, hanging with him in Flint. So, let me skip to a few months ago, my baby mom calls me, and she's like, 
Yo, Norbs text me something weird. I didn't really think nothing of it. I didn't really pay no attention because I'm just like, well, Norbs is weird. I, I would never think Norbs would, you know, cross the line or nothing, nothing like that. So I really, which is my fault, I just, I put it off. I didn't really say nothing about it. So recently, about a couple weeks ago, I go over her house to pick up my kids. And um, I'm chilling over her house with her. And she she, she shows me the messages with Norbs. And Norbs is messaging her shit like, uh, send me pictures in lingerie. He's talking about uh, get a toy. Um, he like, um, me and my wife want to have a threesome with you. He's texting this type of shit to my fucking baby. I can have me with you. He's texting this type of shit to my fucking baby mom. So I'm like, I, I, I leave it alone because I'm just, gonna, I'm just, I'm like, I'm gonna say something when I see him. Lo and behold, I stayed the night over there. He calls her at two in the morning. Mind you, she's not replying to any of these niggas, any of this niggas' messages. You feel me? Like, she's distraught about this because she really, just like me, thought Nose was a good friend. You feel me? So, I text him back in the morning pretending to be her. I text him back and I say, you still want those pictures? He's like, he's like, uh, I, I say something like, along those lines. He's like, yeah. Uh, he's like, yeah, uh, what's up? Woo, 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 right? So, Mind you, like I told you, she's not replying to any of this nigga's messages. So now he think it's he think it's something fishy about it. He think it's something fishy about that shit. So you know what he does? He calls me, FaceTime me, make sure he's not being set up. And I'm at her house. So he FaceTimes me, he's like, yo, where you at? Um, I'm like, I'm at my mom's house. I'm at my baby mom's house. I have my baby mom's phone in this hand, and I'm on the FaceTime with Norbs in this hand. You feel me? She's like, yo, where you at? I'm hoping when he called me, I'm just praying that, even though he already fucked up, I'm praying that he's just gonna fix this and be like, yo, I was joking with your baby mom, but she's messaging me like she, I'm hoping that's what this nigga gonna say. This nigga says nothing about messaging my baby mom. He just goes straight into, yo, uh, just call and check up on you, man, when you, ask him when you gonna be in Atlanta. Whoa, 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 I'm going along with it. I'm just playing along. I'm playing stupid. You feel me? I'm playing stupid, like, so, so after I hang up the phone, like I said, I got my baby mom's phone in this hand. I hang up the phone with Norbs. Immediately after I hang up, he FaceTimes my baby mom. Immediately after. I'm trying I'm telling my baby mom to pick up the phone. My baby mom, she, like, she just, just, like, she's fucked up about that shit. Because, like, she thought Norbs was a friend, too. You feel me? Like, this nigga's a snake. So I never say nothing to nobody about this shit. Like, no, like I never say nothing to nobody about this shit. And then I wait till I see Norbs, like, and, 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 and I handle it. And like I said, I took it easy on Norbs. He's, because I still consider him as a homie. Like, not, not now, but I still consider him as a homie. You know, I got to face disciplinary actions from URL, and I want to apologize because that wasn't the right place to do that. I want to apologize to Smack and Beasley and, and, and all of them because that, you know, I, I could have handled it differently, but it wasn't that I was mad, bro. I was really hurt behind that shit. I wasn't, I was never really upset. I was really hurt. That shit's fucked up, my nigga. He did some fucked up shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you supposed to be my homie, and you messaging my baby mom, asking her for new pictures and, you know, all this kind of shit. So when I seen him, I, I did what I did, and I didn't even, I, like, I really could have did no super bad, bro. I could have did him terrible, my nigga. I took it easy on that nigga, bro. I ain't know. I, I, I do little bit of shit. I ain't know all that. Like but that's, that's, that's. That's 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 basically what happened. Like you know what I mean? Nose is a snake, my nigga. That nigga's a snake, bro. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put them fucking text messages out too, dog. This nigga's married. On top of that, and that's the only reason I didn't. I don't want to ruin no nigga relationship. But my nigga, you a fucking scumbag. You a scumbag messaging my baby mom shit like that, dog. So like, I feel like he deserved. What he got, I just, I think I was, where I was wrong for, for doing that, you know, where, where it happened, that and under, under URL's watch, but people can't blame URL for that, like, that was, that was me, like, that had nothing to do with those, you know what I'm saying, and if they was there, they, you know, they would have stopped it, but they wasn't there, I made sure they wasn't there, but, you know, so, like, I just want to apologize to the, to the fans, and I want to apologize to URL, you know, I know they don't condone shit like that. You know, that was on my behalf. I just wanted to apologize, man. I'm sorry, y'all, if I acted irrationally. But I'm just giving y'all my side of the story. Like, I mean, I know, I know, I know, 
Like, a lot of y'all will probably handle the situation the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's just in the light, I did it. And like, I'm on billboards in Atlanta, and I got a big battle the next day. You know, that shit was just weighing. That shit was just kind of weighing on me, dog, because I could really consider Noah as a, a good friend of mine. You feel me? Like outside of this battle rap shit. Like I said, I was literally just with him in Flint, hanging out and shit. And and knowing he he did all of that, you know what I mean? So I just want to apologize to y'all, you know, and, and give y'all my side of the story and apologize to you all real, man. Like, you know, I could have handled that differently. You know, I hope y'all accept my apology. And that's, that's just that. You know, if y'all was wondering, I, I, I definitely had to... Face some type of disciplinary actions from who I ran. Man, you know, I'm not gonna speak on what what exactly it was, lot. but you know, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all, man. Yes.